Hey guys, thanks for checking it out. I'm going to go through the basics of using the Aerolic up to stream board in a project. My project's going to be the cassette player and um, it's going to be kind of fun just going through the whole thing. So check it out. At the end, I'll be going through the interface and how to uh, pair it up to your network. So thanks for watching and have fun. Okay, guys. So this is the kit, and uh, I'm going to get started with building this thing. And uh, as you can see, I've got the board here. Uh, we've got the, the rest of the kit here with the remote control and, the, and um, cables and everything. I've got some uh, screws and nuts, excuse me, uh, bolts and nuts. And I'm also going to use these brass tubes to build some simple standoffs for this board. Um, so. What I'd like to do is take this cassette player and just kind of, uh, my plan is to put the board in this section, this area over here, and then I'm going to use the uh, audio inputs that are already built into the machine to um, take audio in and out of the board. Um, and then I'm going to add an ethernet jack in the back, and then I'm going to add uh, <clears throat> speaker connectors back here uh, as well. So everything's going to be self-contained. At some point um, I'm going to fix this cassette player so I'm going to uh, maintain what's actually in the box um, so that I can then take the audio out from the cassette player and put it into the the board itself and use the cassette player as well. But to begin with, uh, the, the idea is to get this board working inside uh, the cassette player and um, having a real nice vintage look to the streamer itself. So I'm going to get started. Uh, I'll, I'll kind of go along and explain a few of the things that I've had to do and what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it and uh, we'll get started. All right. First step is to lay it out on the back. So let's just take a look here and see what kind of room we've got here in the back. Looks like we've got plenty of room to place this right here in the back. Uh, however, uh, I'm going to need to use these connectors. So I can't just uh, put it in straight up like that. So I think what I'm going to do, let's see. How else can I do this? The other option is to simply take it up off uh, the existing board uh, and suspend it up in the air like that. I'll have to modify the back panel here for uh, the other speaker outputs as well as the ethernet. Um, also keep in mind that I'm going to be running antennas. I'll probably put them at the corners um, just to uh, keep the antennas as far apart as possible. And uh, that's the plan, so let's get busy. I'm going to go ahead and remove the entire back panel. Uh, won't be too exciting to watch, but here we go. There's our back panel, so now I can place uh, the components fairly easily uh, without damaging the unit itself. Here's what's left. We got our card, uh, main audio card and power supply left in the chassis and easy to get to.
Okay, so at this point I've got the power supply mounted inside, <clears throat> got the power cable ready to plug up. I just need to tap the power cable into the main power supply. I'm going to wire it up so when this unit's plugged in, the um, board is powered at all times. Um, if I have to reset it or reboot it, I'll just have to unplug the unit. Uh, I may change that in later designs, but uh, for this particular implementation, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Okay, so I'm going to go through the initial setup of the uh, sound system. I went ahead and plugged it in. I've got the Forestream application already installed on the iPad. So I'm going to fire that up. <clears throat> it's currently searching for a wireless hi-fi system. Okay, so now it should be searching for the or it should be transmitting on a Wi-Fi signal that I can pick up with my iPad here. Oh, sound system 2791 right there. So I'm going to connect to that network. You are now connected to your speaker. Follow the instructions in the app to finish the setup. Alright, so I'll switch over back over to the app for stream. <clears throat> so far so good. Okay, I'll move the iPad for this. Okay, so I'm going to continue. Wi Fi connection. There we go. Connected to your Wi Fi network. Okay, so now this board is connected to my home Wi Fi. So, so far, so good. New device detected. Great. <clears throat> That's my uh, router system saying that it's found a new device. Alright, so things look like they're going well. The actual board, and we can go through setup. Alright, so it's connecting right now. And there we go. Continue. Alright, so I'm going to customize the device. Um, just do custom here. There we go. And I'm going to call it Tape Deck. Since I've got it installed in a tape deck. Kind of makes sense. Alright, so check. And we'll move on to the next section. Since I have named the device. <clears throat> Alright. So this is just... It looks like... Oh, it's just saying... Um, giving me instructions on how to switch between solo and multi-mode. Okay, got it. Let's do an upgrade. <clears throat> I always like to keep things up to date. So it's going, you can see through the, the LED here that it's actually... Upgrading firmware. Upgrading the firmware. Fantastic. You can see the progress here. That's very nice. So far the user interface is pretty self-explanatory and easy to use.
Okay, update successful, and there you have it. So simple as that. Um, okay, so I'm in the uh, main console here, it looks like. And we'll just take a look here. Let's take a look. Okay, so we've got all our music. Uh, I've got my music, internet radio, Pandora. I use Pandora quite a bit, so let's take a look there. We can log into Pandora. I'm not going to record this. So I logged into Pandora, and all my stations that I've set up uh, seem to be here. So um, <clears throat> that portion seems to be working just fine. Um, let's just take a look and see what happens when we play a little bit of music here. And we'll just pick Sammy Hagar. Right, this uh, little amplifier rocks pretty well. Um, now these are pretty easy speakers to drive, not super efficient, but they play pretty loud. Um, didn't detect any kind of uh, abnormal levels of distortion or um, anything like that in the sound. So just initial impressions with the box open and kind of this being my first prototype. This thing is really easy to put together. Easy to... Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you had fun and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day.